This ad on Airsoft Review is brought to you by airsoftstation.com. What's up guys, here with the shooting test today of the JG MK36 with the RIS front ends. Um, so first we're just going to do a uh, feet per second test on the chrono with .20s and then .25 gram BBs. Um, and then we will be doing a rate of fire test to test the um, rounds per second on an 8.4 volt battery and then also a, a 9.6 volt and I'll actually take a, um, I'll take a couple semi-auto shots in there to test um, the trigger response. So uh, then we're going to finally end this video with a couple shots downrange at about 100 feet so you can see the spread of the BBs and uh, you know how tight the grouping is. So uh, now to the feet per second test. Okay, so I'm just going to take a couple of shots um, for the feet per second test. I have been using an 8.4 volt battery, but um, I'll take a couple more, couple more shots so you can see the, uh, or hear, the trigger response and um, pretty much how fast it is on semi-auto. And then we'll do a couple bursts on full auto. So, semi-auto. So we're getting around eight or nine um, rounds per second, which, let me wind up the mag, which is uh, relatively slow. So you're definitely gonna wanna put it in a 9.6 volt. So let me go get that, uh, put it on the gun, and we'll see how hard it's shooting or how fast it's shooting then. So now I'm back with a 9.6 volt. Uh, let's take a couple shots on semi-auto and see how fast the uh, trigger response is. So the rate of fire is much, much quicker. Um, definitely a nice increase. You're shooting around 14 rounds a second now instead of eight or nine rounds a second, which is quite nice. And the um, semi-auto is much quicker and more responsive. So you're definitely gonna wanna put, pick up an, a 9.6 volt battery with it. Just make sure it's gonna fit into the um, RAS unit because it is quite tight in terms of battery space. You're gonna either want to get a, um, a small butterfly type battery or possibly just get a PEQ box, put it on the rail, and um, although it might look a little bit odd to some people, I personally like the PEQ box, I think it looks cool, but um, it just gives you much more freedom with battery. So uh, now for some shots downrange. All right, so now you are zoomed in on a target. That target is 100 feet away, and it's about one, or, uh, one foot tall by 18 to 20 inches wide um, so I'll be taking a couple shots at that uh, there is a minor cross breeze no big deal though um, I'm using 0.20 gram BBs and it comes and goes so I'll be taking a couple shots uh, between the breeze so uh, now let's uh, see how it does at 100 feet Alright, so uh, for the most part, relatively consistent. I mean, this is at 100 feet, and that's a really small target compared to um, what a human-sized target would be. So um, sometimes the hop-up got the best of the BB, and it kind of just curved over a little bit. But um, with .25s, you'll be more accurate. I recommend using .25s, just using .20s as an accuracy standard. So uh, next, now let's try a burst on full auto.
All right, so uh, I'm out of ammo, and uh, I think pretty accurate considering the uh, size of the target. So uh, thanks for watching. Please comment, rate, and subscribe. And uh, if you have any questions, please leave them in the comments or send me a personal message, and I'll do my best to get back to you as soon as possible. Uh, check out the review, the full review. Link is in the description and on the screen right now. Uh, check it out, full review of this JG MK36 with the full RIS. So you can get it on Airsoft Station for $160. Great deal. It's one of JG's new uh, high quality guns, much higher quality than what they used to do. And so uh, thanks for watching. Comment, like, and subscribe, and I will see you guys later.